Hi, how are you all? I thought it might be fun to give you a glimpse into pattern making using specialty software. The software I use and I have used for several years is Bead Wizard. I'll put a link to it. It's very inexpensive. I don't know what it costs now, but I only paid $50 for it. It's very basic, but quite versatile. It's a small and pretty stable application. It's real easy to use. There's, there are other programs out there that aren't as easy to use. So I'll show you a little bit about this one. The program can make a peyote pattern or a brick pattern. The only difference between the two is the uh, angle of the beads. This is peyote. You can see the beads are lining up vertically. And in brick stitch, they line up uh, horizontally, just like that. So determine what kind you want to make and what kind of beads you're going to use. This is a pattern using cylinders, which are delicas. If you want to try to reproduce an image, find a good image. It's uh, with a you know pretty good resolution you don't want a postage stamp or something um, and save it in a bitmap format and you can underlay that image into your pattern I'll show you that in the next picture after you've created your blank pattern this one is 58 beads wide by 36 beads high you can import the image underneath the beads so you can start laying your color on top and reproducing that image for beadwork. It's a lot of fun. Um, you just need to make sure that your pattern is big enough to accommodate all of the detail in your image. The bigger your pattern, the more detail you can get in there. But you can still create really wonderful things using very small patterns. This one is actually kind of small. Here I've picked up the brush tool, selected a color that contrasts with the color underneath in the image, and started clicking on the little beads to color them in with blue and outline them with dark, dark gray. I don't want to use the actual color because I want to, I want to see <laughs> what I'm doing, so I'm using a different color. This is just an image of my pattern with the underneath image hidden. I've hidden it to see how my beads are looking. Here I'm continuing to fill in using gray and trying to determine how I want to put my outline, where it's going to go, because I want it to look like a skull. <laughs> You can see I've made my determination where my outline should go. You want to keep symmetry in mind, not have things too uneven. And there's my final fill-in. Now I'm going to maybe adjust some edges, um, you know, rearrange some things here and there, and change my colors to, you know, see exactly what it's going to look like when I'm ready to beat it. And there we go, we're done. You can print these and uh, you're all set. So it's easy, it's, it's a lot of fun and like I said, the software is really inexpensive. Um, it's a lot faster than trying to figure it out by hand. <laughs> you know, coloring, coloring in your paper, graph paper. This is a, oh, oh, that looks familiar. I just, you know, rearranged the design a little, but you can use a lot of images. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's fun. So thanks, uh, see you later, bye-bye.